Video 1 Introduction Welcome to the fundamentals of cloud computing course. The core consists of various modules and in this first module we'll take a look at some of the key takeaway from the course. The key takeaways are you will gain a fundamental understanding of what cloud computing is. Because it is such a hype topic a lot of products call themselves cloud products. This happens a lot with buzzwords that get popular like cloud and big data. People start releasing products calling them cloud products just for the buzzword and the product may not be cloud product and this creates a lot of confusion in the market. The aim of this course is that when you are finished with this course you will be able to clearly distinguish between a cloud product and a falsely advertised cloud product. You will gain an understanding of the key advantages of cloud. If your organization is planning to make a move to the cloud, you'll be able to sit down with your architects and engineers, discuss the benefits of moving to cloud, and evaluate the risk and challenges involved. You will gain an understanding of cloud segments, which are infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service, and learn the advantages and disadvantages of them. You will get an understanding of the various cloud deployment models, which are public, private, community, and hybrid clouds, and how they differ from each other. You will gain knowledge of some key cloud companies and what these companies are doing in this space. And there is a lot of activity going on currently in this space. You will get an overview of these companies and the cloud services offered by them. You will also learn about security, compliance, and privacy in the cloud. Throughout the training, we will review a lot of use cases where leveraging cloud has been the deciding factor between success and failure. If I was in an elevator and someone were to ask me, what is cloud computing? And if I had a few seconds to answer, I would go with the definition, cloud computing is the delivery of computing as a service rather than a product. Computing traditionally has been a product Similar to how 100 years ago, electricity was a product. It was not uncommon for big companies to have a vice president of electricity. Now, this may sound strange, but in early 1900s, electricity was in the same state that computing is today, which means that if you wanted to use electricity, you would have to buy generators to produce electricity or get contracts from power plant companies and make sure they give you enough electricity. Hence, you needed a VP level person to manage electricity infrastructure to make sure it doesn't become the bottleneck in your operations in the factory. In the last 100 years, we have solved this problem through centralized power generation and grids that distribute it everywhere. Now, if someone is to open a factory or office, getting electricity is not usually the problem in most countries. Electricity has moved from product based to a service based model and cloud computing is doing the same thing with computing. Right now computing is very product based. Now let's say that we develop an application and we want to release it to the world so that people can come and use the application from anywhere in the world. But first, we'll need to figure out how many servers, databases, and such we will need. Underestimating might create way too much load on servers and degrade performance for users. Overestimation will result in wasted server capacity. Let's say we decide to get 10 servers, and we have to first go and get those servers. This would be either local or remote. In case of local servers, we'll have to go out and buy those servers wait for them to get delivered, configure them, and then use them to deploy our applications. In the case of remote, we'll have to go to some hosting company, ask for those servers, have to sign a contract with them, and then get access to the servers and then deploy on them. Another advantage of electricity being a service rather than a product is that we don't have to worry about electricity as long as it's there. If you take example of this video you are watching, you are consuming electricity by watching this. But you don't notice it as long as the electricity is up and running. If you lose electricity, then it becomes a problem. So computing is something similar in many cases. If you deploy an application, if your users are using the application, they don't care 
about what hardware you are using as long as they get the service but if the hardware goes down that's when they will notice as you can already see there are a lot of advantages of services compared to products cloud computing is trying to move computing from being a product to being a service time is not far away when we can get data centers the same way we get electricity you just plug into a socket and you get your data center the same way you get electricity from the grid how does cloud matter to the world over the next couple of slides we are going to answer the question why cloud matters to the world fact number 1 robust current market according to popular market research company gartner the public cloud services market was around 131 billion us dollars worldwide by the end of 2014 infrastructure as a services including compute and storage continued to be the fastest growing segment of the market gartner also says cloud computing was in the top 3 cio technology priorities for the last 4 years cios or chief information officers over the world have different priorities but cloud computing has shown up in the top 3 for the last 4 years according to research by gartner another fact is lack of skills leading management consultancy company zinov predicted 25% of global it talent will become redundant in 3 to 5 years they also said cloud computing experts will witness moderate to high demand a multinational corporation emc says lack of skilled pros in cloud computing a challenge significantly all these skills were non existent a decade ago the cloud market is growing at a rapid pace international data corporation idc and american market research firm states 1.7 million cloud computing jobs went unfilled in 2012 the problem was a lack of the training and certification among job seekers the idc report also states there is an urgent need to retrain existing it professionals and encourage students to pursue cloud computing related training and certification growth predictions according to gartner by 2016 over half your it spending will be on cloud microsoft predicts revenues from cloud innovations could reach as high as 1.1 trillion us dollars a year by the end of 2015 job predictions cloud brings with it exciting new career opportunities idc predicted cloud computing to create 14 million new jobs by 2015 thus as you can see cloud computing is already a required skill set for most it employees and as time goes on its importance is bound to increase it workforce that does not acquire cloud computing as a skill might see their career growth stalled or might not even have a job in the next module we learn why cloud computing became such an important element in it in such a short time